Buckle up. It's the Insurance Dudes Podcast. Dude, we'll talk more about it. For somebody like maybe like Craig that doesn't know much about it. Um, <laughs> let's the let's start from the ABCs. How if you are doing PNC or something that's generally more known, how would you get into it? Yeah, so I think the first step is the ACA marketplace with what is going on right now. The American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA, it just made a whole lot of people, a whole lot, like they're estimating a few million. I've got good friends and colleagues that are estimating 20 and 30 and 40 million. New people will have access to what they call a government subsidy. So there's just low hanging fruit and you're seeing it on like, I mean, I watch a lot of like Hulu shows and stuff. You see it on these Hulu ads you're seeing it on the news. Health insurance is top of mind for people. So it's a hot button topic. So even if you're selling PNC, even if you're selling life insurance, whatever, health insurance is going to get you in the door nine times out of 10 quicker than the life will or quicker than the PNC insurance will. So I think that's the best way to start is simply to get into the ACA marketplace because you can't screw that up. And it's almost self-explanatory. Like I can get through an enrollment on the ACA in about five minutes. And that five minutes, if I'm enrolling one member, like the average, and this isn't going to excite people, but this is probably the bottom of the barrel as far as income earning policies, right? But the ACA plan is going to pay on average about $20 per member per month, level for life. Okay. So if you're like a Medicare agent, that's about like a Medicare Advantage policy. Again, it's level for life. So people are short sighted and they get the $20 commission and they're like, well, this is all I got. And it's like, well, yeah, you sold one policy to one person. So you get $20 for every time that they pay their $200 premium. It's a pretty good deal. Now get a thousand of those and imagine what your life looks like. Right. right. And, and I'm not kidding you when I tell you there's agents out there that are doing a thousand enrollments a year on this ACA marketplace because it's easy. Right. And then there's a whole subsector of it, I guess, or a whole additional opportunity for those that are probably like you guys and like myself who are healthy and above average income. Right. So they don't qualify for any tax credits or government assistance or things like that on their health premiums. There's a whole separate market for those individuals. They call them short term medical plans or indemnity plans. There's all kinds of different names. But at the end of the day, they still do the job at 30 to 40 percent less of a cost. And those are higher commission products. Now, obviously, things change quickly in the landscape of insurance as a whole. But as it sits today, I mean, it's a tremendous opportunity and health insurance is top of mind for Mm -hmm. everybody. So I started a group on Facebook called Health Insurance Hustlers. That's where we're trying to debunk the myth that there's no money in it. And we talk about insurance sucks. We just make it suck a little bit less. But I think that it's funny because I tell people what I do. They're like, what do you do? Oh, insurance. They're like, oh, like car insurance, like home insurance. And that's the first thing that comes to mind. And it's not health insurance, which is funny to me. That is. So what is your lifetime customer worth? What are we looking at as far as what's the average length of time that somebody stays? That varies so much. Like if you look at it on the Medicare side of things, obviously a lot of people will say the average is seven, eight, seven, eight years in the individual under 65 with the under 65 market. I would say the average maybe three years. Right. So And there's so much variance because let's say it's a family of four and you're at $20 per member per month. I mean, now you're looking at 80 bucks per month over the next three years. But if you do things to improve your retention, which we all have to do, no matter what sector of the industry you're in, if you do those things to improve your retention, then you could keep that client until from when I get off the phone with a client, I'm explaining to them that, hey, we write all plans for under 65 individuals, like there's no carriers that we don't work with. So if you ever have any issues, you come back to us because we want you to be a client from now until you enroll in Medicare, because guess what? When you enroll in Medicare, we do that too. So we'll help you. Right. There. Right. So Love as it, it's dude, evolved, I mean, we've done more and more yeah. Medicare out of need. That's awesome. And I love that because even at three years, you're looking at 20 bucks a month, you're looking at a $720 customer value. That's incredible. I mean, that gives you so much room to be able to yeah. market and hire and grow and everything. And else. like I said, that's uh-huh. like bottom of the barrel because a lot of 
private plans and non-ACA plans are a little bit higher commission commission products. So your lifetime value can get up to three, four, five thousand dollars with something so, like that. That's awesome. And we got in a conversation prior to the interview where you said you've always sold on the phone. Take us a little bit through that process as far as this kind of insurance. How do you guys approach it? I guess. So right now with the AR, the American Rescue Plan, we're obviously calling a lot of different people just kind of with an educational approach. Like, hey, I don't know if you've heard, but we can save you money on the plan that you have now without even having to change your ID cards. Like you can keep your same cards. We're just going to lower your premium for you. Do you have five minutes? Right. Like typically that's going to get you in the door. But yeah, it's always been over the phone. I have my agents, a lot of times they cut their teeth on cold calls. If they've never worked on the phone or anything like that, I think it's the easiest way to get them used to talking on the phone and being normal because it's amazing what happens when somebody puts this thing up to their ear from like a business standpoint. Then they start talking all weird and they get like a higher pitched voice or faster or like, man, don't you ever like talk to people in real life? Just talk to them like that. It's really easy. And so we start them off cold calling and then obviously telemarketed leads, internet leads, all of the same stuff that every other insurance agent does. We've just always worked them only over the phone. And nine times out of 10, we don't even have to do a screen share. We'll send them quote sheets that has all their brochures or whatever it looks like. And we'll just walk them through it. It's fairly cut and dry. I mean, We kind of try to make it as simple as possible because for whatever reason, health insurance is the most confusing thing in the world to people. So we just kind of try to keep it simple. And being a broker, having access to everything out there really is kind of the key because at the end of the day, if we can sell ourselves, we have the products. We just have to sell us, you know what I mean? Whoever the agent is calling. I know that at the scale you're at, you know your numbers. So I'm curious from looking at the funnel, like from a contacts to quote ratio, how many contacts do they need to get to, to get to that sale? If we're talking cold calls, 10%. So one out of every 100, right? I literally train agents on, hey, 100 calls a day is like minimum. Like if you want to do well at this, 100 calls a day. And that doesn't mean 100 times you've connected with people either, right? 100 dials. 100 dials um, gets to... On like, yeah, on something like the leads that we utilize, one out of every 10. They're telemarketed, they're pre-telemarketed, so they're kind of pre-qualified, one out of every 10 there. And then something like an internet lead would be one out of every 20, one out of every 50, depending on, I mean, when you get into internet leads is when things get fuzzy because you've got shared leads, you've got exclusive leads, you've got all these different variances. So we try not to work a ton of internet leads, to be honest with you. I don't love them. We generate our own leads on Facebook, Facebook ads, that kind of stuff. Nice. Yeah. Well, it's a more intimate sale than I would mm-hmm. say PNC because we run a lot of internet leads. So we really just practice at not only getting a ton of those dials on the front end, but then getting really good at the back end to sell it. But I'm sure in the healthcare space, then that's a more intimate sale. So I'm sure that the doing that the marketing on the front end, like a Facebook marketing can really be an advantage because you can create that intimacy on the front yeah. end a little bit more. Yeah, some of the best, most successful ads that I've seen or done have some sort of personal, t- like it's a video recorded like this or just a selfie camera talking to it and being more personable has kind of always seemed to work the best on Facebook. But I'm just, I would say in the last year, I really started to develop my personal brand and work on those things. And so now I don't even think we've seen the full fruit of it. And we continue to see like opportunity after opportunity, whether it's through podcasts or speaking engagements or whatever, it's all kind of just worked synergistically. And I encourage people all the time to take this phone and look at it and just talk to it like a person because it's so funny. We post all these like insurance memes and we'll post like clever ad type posts and people just scroll right through that crap. But if you're like talking to your camera like a real person, then people are going to connect with that. So yeah, we see a lot of success with the more personable approach. It starts with connection. And I think that we glossed over it, but you brought up like a good agent. You have good agents that can do a thousand of these deals a year. You said that, right? So we're talking 20K of income a year off of those $20 pops. 
no, no, or yeah. 20, I mean, 20, 20 a month, 20 K a month. month. Yeah. Right. right. So there's a huge opportunity to make a ton of money. And if the average retention is three years, then you're looking at potentially 60 K a month. Am I doing yeah, I math mean, right here? Yeah. I mean, you're on now. That's a very rare gem, right? I know of a few people that are doing that many enrollments a year, but you can't even call it a year because we have this weird thing called open enrollment, right? Where you only right. get 45 days or whatever. This year is kind of just different where we have the extended SCP. So now is when we're seeing those larger numbers. But before it wasn't uncommon to see in a 45 or 60 day window, it wasn't uncommon to see five, 600 members run through, not necessarily five, 600 applications like separate, but five, 600, a thousand members total, which mm -hmm. is unbelievable. Like I said, I mean, an application can take you five minutes. So it's definitely some low hanging fruit. It's just a very misconceived industry. I feel like. Here's a question. Just curious off the bat is what about open enrollment? Okay. So you have a couple months, maybe three months, yeah. three months to do as much business as you can. How do you prepare for that? Well, you have to kind of get ahead of it, right? So you obviously right. can't enroll people yet, but you can find out if what they have is working. And obviously, if what they have is still going to be available the following year and all of that stuff, because a lot of those are just, you don't need the client even. It's just automatically renewing or you're re-enrolling them. But the average like person, I guess, is getting ready for it by reaching out to their book of business, touching base, making sure that their doctors are still accepting it, all of that stuff. And then just processing a crap ton of applications. I talked to a guy the other day, he reached out to me and he was like, man, I'm knee deep in applications right now. The last day of the month, I've had over a hundred self enrollments, right? In the last like I don't know, the last 30 days, whatever it was, through running Facebook ads. So these people are actually going on and self-enrolling. And he was finalizing that process for over 100 in just one month. So yeah, you can do a 1,000 in here. That's crazy. Well, it's 100,000 dials using your thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So a telemarketing team of 10 to make 500 dials a day for a month, and you got your 100,000 dials, which results yeah, in... Yeah, I mean, if those in, theory, work, yeah. in theory, yeah. In theory. In theory. Yeah. But somebody has to be there to actually take the transfer and then all that and yeah. follow up. And is there a lot of follow up or is it all first call close, first call close, first call close? <laughs> there's a decent amount of follow up, but there's more so a decent amount of servicing the sale. People will run into doctor's offices that aren't accepting it and reach out and things like that. So once you get to a certain point, you definitely want to have kind of like a CSR, customer service rep or somebody that's kind of handling a lot of that stuff. So that producers produce and customer service people take care of the customer service. But again, I mean, this is only what we're talking about or what we've spent the majority of talking about because it's kind of top of mind for everybody. It's mm -hmm. in the news is the ACA opportunity. Whereas for the last three years, I've really specialized in the non-ACA market. And that can be even more lucrative. And the main reason why I've done that is because those are the people that I tend to connect with. Some people will say healthy and wealthy, right? When I say is healthy and above average income, so I don't sound like a jerk, but uh, <laughs> those are the people that I enjoy talking to on the phone. Those are the people that are clients, but quickly become friends or so on and so forth. So this is kind of a new aspect of the opportunity with the ACA and a lot more people qualifying for those subsidies. I mean, can you imagine calling somebody that makes 70 grand a year, family of four, let's say they're making 70 grand a year. You call them up and you can tell them, well, you're eligible for a plan that's zero dollars. Would you like that? Of course. Right. And you're right. still getting commission on a plan that costs your client zero dollars or 200 bucks or whatever, but it's a lot lower than what it was with the new subsidies and things. So it's a newer opportunity for sure. Yeah. That's cool. Well, and your other one gives you, it's worth the time on the higher lifetime value. So you can spend that time on those and make more or, or yeah. do a massive funnel and blast through a hundred thousand dials. So there's a lot of different options there. I love yeah. that. Absolutely. I was looking into your telefunnels, by the way. I'll have to pick your guys' brain on that stuff another time. And we've got to run here. But the telefunnel, just that word in and of itself, I was intrigued immediately because sales funnels are everything right now. But we've always been a telesales type of organization. And so I heard telefunnel and I'm like, well, that's interesting. 
Yeah, I mean, it just gives that insight into the, all the analytics. I remember at Merrill, they had this, the sales manager handed out this thing. It said, a million dials, here's the data. And I'm like, well, we've made 22 million dials, so here's the data. And on the PNC side, it's really interesting because it is a bell curve, but we have a longer sales cycle than what it yeah. sounds like you have. And I mean, we're dialing all the way up till that 90th day. Right. Where the lead now is you have to turn it off, scrub it and do all that. But up to the 90th day, it's open season on it. And I mean, we close people on a day 89 on the 90th dial. So yeah. with us, it's, it's just constantly making those calls. And 50 percent of what of the new business that we write in our agencies, it comes after the 21st to 31st dial. After when most agents buy a lead, That's, call it twice. These I, leads suck, right? So yeah, good. I can't wait to bring that back to my team. It's like, hey, the, the insurance dudes, their team's calling them ninety times. Yeah, we're quitting <laughs> after twelve. So what yeah, are we 12's doing? Not enough, man. <laughs> twelve is not an, at least in we, our world, we, it's not enough. We literally do run people through a twelve contact system, and then it's a thirty day follow up, a sixty day, ninety day, so on and so forth. But yeah, a ninety contacts. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, one of the Teledude's clients closed somebody on the 104th. I was talking about our 94th dial, and he's like, oh, we got somebody on 104. I'm like, that's incredible. One upper. It so, is crazy. Yeah. Never is there anything yeah. that in this space that we didn't get to go over that you would like to make clear? Because I like your yeah, We are going to drop all your contact stuff. I think you've sent it over to. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll go through that. Yeah, so after this. Aside from that, I mean, the contact info's in there. I'd love to basically just shed the light on more of the industry, more of what we do. But I can tell you that <laughs> we would be here for a long time if we continued to go down the road of the health insurance industry, right? It's ever evolving. It's always changing. People are always going to hate it. That's <laughs> why I say insurance sucks. I just make it suck less. And so <laughs> no, I, mean, I think the biggest thing that I was hoping to get to do on the call is simply to say that there is money in the health insurance industry. And if you're an independent PNC shop, or if you're a PNC shop that doesn't offer health yet, then you probably ought to look into it because yeah. I'm telling you that and I'm just creating competition for myself, but it really is. There's some low hanging fruit and there's a ton, a ton, a ton of people in that market that we can help. Yeah. 130 Love million. All right. Them. <laughs> I mean, Tell yeah. us about you, man. You're everywhere. So how can people get a hold of you? See you on the YouTubes. Yeah, so you can check me out on the tube of you. It's just Brad Hannon is my channel. There's tons of insurance training content there. Well, actually, I shouldn't say tons. There's starting to be a ton of mm. insurance training content. We push out two or three videos a week right now, and it's just kind of been a passion project of mine. Also have a group on Facebook, like I mentioned, called Health Insurance Hustlers. And then my socials are just Bradley Hannon or Brad Hannon, whatever. You'll find me. Like you said, I am everywhere. And so let's connect. You have the website too, bradleyhannon.com? Just Brad Hannon. Brad Hannon. Yep. Okay. So Brad Hannon. That com, that's with two N's. Yeah. With two N's. And that way the Brad Lee, I took that out because people will spell the L E Y or L Y. So we just went Can't with Brad Hannon. Yeah. But easy. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> well, thank well, you cool, so much, man. man. Awesome to have you on. Like we said, all the stuff, the details are down in the show notes. So you can grab that, find Brad and go start selling health insurance or talk to him to have a relationship, uh, I guess, symbiotic uh, with your agency. Boom. 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 Thanks Boom. For me, guys. Lo yeah. Thanks, thank man. Thank you. Love the energy. Thanks for connecting. Yeah. And uh, yeah. We'll see you down the road. Thank you. See you all down right. the road. <laughs> all right, bud. Have a good right. one. Hey, Jason. Yes, Mr. Craig. That was another awesome episode, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, if people want to get a little bit more action and, and learn how to do uh, write 100000 in premium off yes. of even the worst internet leads, where could they go? They can go to live.teledudes.com. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Are we going to be there? Yes. It's a weekly call that we're doing right now that will it's live and it will show you the process the entire process mm, is super awesome mm, i love it let's do it let's do it sign up right now live.teledudes.com live.teledudes.com that's live.teledudes.com hey craig there's a new community that we are starting that i cannot wait to tell everybody about it is our live 
texting community where you and I are going to answer people's questions and give them free content, right? Are you kidding me? We get yep. to talk to them? Yeah, which is awesome, but they have to opt in. They have to text us at 520-214-2219. That's 520-214-2219. Nice. I'm Greg, are you going to respond to these texts? I'm going to respond to them for sure, live. I'm into it too. It's going to be well, awesome. And it's a, it's going to be our new texting community where we're going to get back to everybody that we can and drop some crazy content, free content, and free um, the calculator that you just came up with. Mm. That's right. The calling calculator. Sales material. I mean, everything for insurance agents, this is it. It's the best texting community out there for insurance agents. Well, what the heck is that number again? I can't remember it. It's 520-214-2219. That's okay. 520-214-2219. I love it. I'm going to text it right now. 520-214-2219. All right. I'll see you later, Mr. Jason. Bye, Mr. Craig. Wait, do they even listen to this on the radio anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Nice. Uh, all right.